Hello, what's up, and welcome back to another interview at the Cosmos Dubai 2024. This is day two. I'm Adele, the host, and today we have a special guest with us, Kenny, who's co-founder at Manta. Kenny, how are you doing today? Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you, Adele. I'm doing great. Yeah. Wonderful. It's great to see you. And I think uh, I haven't heard of Manta before. I've heard of Mantra, mm -hmm. but Manta is actually my first time hearing about it. So what's your story? Tell us your story. Yeah, so uh, Manta Network, we are the largest modular L2. We are an Ethereum scaling solution. We have over 200 thriving applications in our ecosystem right now. And uh, we recently launched, so maybe that's why you haven't heard of us. And uh, yeah, what else do you want to know? That's pretty cool. So when you say largest modular, what do you mean by that? Yeah, so we are uh, one of the only layer twos in the space right now that take what we refer to as a modular approach. And so modular approach just means that instead of building every single piece of technology from the ground up in-house, you source amazing technology that's already available, right? Like, for example, in the Cosmos ecosystem, there's Celestia for data availability. We are the first to use Celestia to offer DA or scalable DA solutions to users. What does that mean? It means in the first month, we actually saved our users $2 million in gas fees. And so, yeah. How, do you, how did you save $2 million in gas fees? By significantly reducing gas costs through using Celestia. Oh, because Celestia is obviously a, a sort of a better version uh, of the, than Ethereum, uh, Ethereum's blockchain? For, for storing call data, exactly. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Got it. So what are you working on right now? So we are working on a solution called multi-DA. So when it comes to uh, taking a modular approach, right, using third-party services, you have to be conscious about like the, the point of failure, meaning that if something ever happens to Celestia, what's our backup, right? And so we, we're, we're building out technologies to support different backup solutions in case something ever goes down on the Celestia and if some reason Manta can't communicate with Celestia anymore, there's some backup options. Interesting, yeah. of course, having a backup gives you that safety net and allows you to have insurance. Exactly. And, and what, what are you going to build next with that? Oh, I mean, we're just always building our L2. Right. I think when, when it comes to this type of innovation, there's a couple of things we think about. The first thing is, how does it benefit the user? Right. So that's why we're so early to adopt Celestia, because we knew immediately that gas savings is going to save a lot of money for users. The second thing is, how do we make it more secure as an environment for users? And so that's why we're taking this multi-DA approach. And so all of, our, all of our innovation, everything that we build on Manta, really focuses on how does it improve the user experience. Yeah. Do you think this will in turn drive uh, adoption uh, from Web 2 to Web 3 users? Ultimately, yes, but like I don't think this is like a, a panacea, right? It's not like one single solution that'll all of a sudden turn over a billion users overnight. Right. Um, I, I think like this is definitely a piece of the puzzle, and I think there's many pieces of the puzzle to be solved to truly get that web to adoption. 100%. Well, Manta is, one, is definitely contributing to that piece of the puzzle, so uh, good on you for that, and uh, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate your time as well. Thank Wonderful. you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you found this insightful. We'll leave all links in the description. I'm Adela Host. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Let's go. Bye.